slam into you. Boom, boom, done. Oh, Ingrid, you and I are going to get along just fine. Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wee Hours here today, checking out the Lamp Lighters League, or at least the demo thereof. This is just a little teaser, a little taste of the Lamp Lighters League, but I've been really excited to check this game out. I've been looking forward to it for a while. So we're just going to jump right in and see what the demo of the Lamp Lighters League has got in store for us. Courier's late. Hey! Hey. <laughs> You're uh, welcome. Well done. What's your name again? The Gentleman Jim. At your service. Hmm. And we're married to that name, are we? What's wrong with my name? Well, I'm pretty much sold. We've got some steampunk elements there. There's some mystical elements there. Ingrid's being all cool, hanging out up on a roof, punching people and smoking. Don't smoke, kids, unless it's in a video game, in which case it's totally fine. And Latifi is just kind of following her around. We got some basic movement controls in a tutorial, and I'm being encouraged to sort of nudge my nose along this way and rendezvous with the courier. So if we spin around here, doors can be opened one way or another. Okay. I'm kind of tempted to hit R to find out what recon does. What does recon do? Oh, thank you for telling me. Use it to explore the world and gain useful information. Ah, so now, now I can just move the map around. Okay, here we go without actually moving the characters around. That's fine. So there's my guy over there in the alleyway. He got taken out and I, I have a feeling we're going to get there and, um, it hasn't ended well, and in fact, we can clearly see he's dead. Recon mode is super handy for that. Agents have real-time roles, sneak, bruiser, or saboteur, and Ingrid, as we've already seen up on the roof, is a bruiser. Okay, well, what is Latif here? Door head is bolted from the other side, but as a sneak, ah, you're a sneak. Latif can clamber up and unlock the door. Okay, so how do I, how do I switch out between you and, no, no, I saw, I'm so sorry, I don't know what I did. I think I made you hit somebody. Uh, it's right here, Dave. It's, it's Z. It's Z. Okay. So sorry about that, Ingrid. Um, you stay there, and I will come back to you. We should probably ungroup these guys, right? Because I need I need Latif to get up on the thing there. Double-click an agent and group the agents together. Unselected agents automatically follow when they're grouped. Okay, but hopefully you're not going to do that now. Okay, so let's get you to clamber up here. Okay. And then, how do we get you to come down? Ah, there's another clambery spot over here. Very simple ladder. We'll come down, and we're going to pop the door open for Ingrid. So, open up the door. Ingrid can now get where she needs to go. Oh, I should probably group you me. back up again, so you follow each other around. Now what? Oh, do I need to... Oh, I might need... Uh, I might need Ingrid for this one. Ah, yeah, indeed I do. Breaking walls. Ingrid's just gonna smash a bunch of bricks. Yeah, no skill required here. Just smash right through. Problem solved. Okay, we're still trying to rendezvous with the courier there. I... Should I be in, like, sneaky mode? I feel I should be in sneaky mode. Especially where we've got all agents must survive. That says to me there's a chance they won't. Yeah, this guy's dead. Yeah, we can probably skip this. We'll go get a magazine or something. Oh, hang on. Look, hang on, I can get a magazine. No, forget the courier. I want to go inspect the, the newsstand. I got a thing to do here. Tomorrow's issue of Le Petit Parisien already fills the stands March 4th, 1932. Okay. 
Uh, what can I do with this? I got lore over here. Monsieur T. My agents will meet you as arranged. I won't do the French accent through the whole thing. I'm terrible at the French accent. My agents will meet you as arranged, and I will expect you will deliver. Oh, was this the thing that he dropped when he was on being chased there? Why else would you write our mutual friend about discovering the cards? Well, he, we know he dropped a card. So sell me the deck and be done with it. Anything else I can do? I mean, yeah, courier. That's wicked important. But there's, like, stuff to look at over here. I like looking at stuff. Can we get in this door? I can inspect this. Let's see what this is. Uh, display window for the used bookstore. Two posters. One is an advertisement for a brand new brand of Sp Spanish gramophone. The She-Beast is coming. Okay, mixed messages from that store. Now, I'm telling you guys, he's dead. He's 100% dead. He ain't getting... Yeah, he's dead. Latif's got this. Latif is the smart one here. He's dead. No sign of the package. Guy's still warm. Package can't be far. Okay, well, let's go find the package. It's probably over here somewhere, right? Now, just so I'm clear, can Ingrid not climb a ladder? Is that solely the discretion of Latif? No, she can climb a ladder. We're getting stuff done here. Uh, let's spin this around. Anything going on? I'm kind of expecting baby's first fight to come up any moment because it just kind of seems like that time oh did i call that or what right at the top of the roof enemy sighted okay so obviously he's got a sight range here obviously he's got a sight range and he's gonna yep sizing up the options there's a lookout get too close the agent will into the guard's field of vision yep that'll be that nice little radius around there frontal attack is an option but not the only one Scoundrels like Ingrid and Latif can handle certain threats while staying silent. All right, so looks like we want to maybe send Latif on this one. You know, not grouped, he moves more quietly, can approach enemies from behind without being detected. Okie dokie. All right, well, let's tuck you guys over here. Let's ungroup okay, you and go to Latif. All right, so Latif, you're going to sneak around here. All right, sneaky sneak. And then we're going to come up on this guy from behind, and I'm sure probably just knock him out or something like that. Oh, you can just clamber over things. Uh, okay, takedowns. Here we go. During infiltration, agents can use takedowns. Lone Sentry is a perfect target. Move behind him and hit the space bar. Okay. So if I go sneaky, sneaky. Oh, there we go. Sucker punch. Sucker punch you. Yep, you're down. There's two more dead ahead. And I don't see any viable way of getting behind them without the other one seeing. They're facing each other, so I can't really get around them. I don't see anything. Maybe I could get up on the roof and drop down on them. I think, given this is a tutorial kind of place, I think this is on Ingrid. Because she can do the smashy smash thing here. So she can smash right into their slam. Dash in a direction, taking down up to three enemies. That's got to be what we need to do here. Okay, so could I see... I can't really see their sight radius like I could with the first guy. Oh, and indeed, you're telling me to slam. I am way ahead of you there. Way ahead of you. Limited number of takedowns they can perform per mission. So I got two. I can do this twice. Okay, so we're going to have to think about that in the future. And I already used one accidentally. So slam these guys. Should I get a little bit closer? Maybe like one more paving type. Oh, there's your radius. Oh, okay. I can walk right up here then. You guys are fine. Unless there's somebody around the corner, in which case we're all doomed. So yeah, slam into you. Boom, boom, done. Oh, Ingrid, you and I are going to get along just fine. Now this one, we're being encouraged to go past. Just ignore. Ah, suspicion. Make too much noise, enter their field of vision, they'll become suspicious. All right, when they hear something fishy, they'll... They'll be alerted, and they're going to be like, Hey, I think there's guys over there. All agents can use cover to stay out of sight, even when inside an enemy's field of vision. Hmm. Should I split the team up here? I feel I should. I don't think we should be grouped together here. Yeah, the game's saying the same thing, too. So grouped up, we're going to be easier to, to see, which makes total sense. Let's ungroup. There's a guy over there. All right. Now that guy over there, he's kind of patrolling a little bit. So I'm going to put Ingrid right here. No, 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 Ingrid. Ingrid, stay there. Stay there. Now you're in. We're going to move over here. Okay. And then we're going to hang out right here. Okay. Oh, I, I got to get over to Latif, too. Uh, Latif. Latif, what are you up to, Chief? Um, let's have you go over here. I think this will be fine over here. Yep. No, don't vault anything. We're staying put, kid. 
So when that guy moves past, give me recon mode because I just need to move the map. When this guy moves past, oh, I can see stats on him. Got burst fire. Sprays the target with a burst of SMG fire. When he moves past, I'm going to move Ingrid up. This guy doesn't seem to move, so he'll be fine. Okay, go out of recon mode uh, and get me back over to Ingrid, please. I might need to move her around a little bit like this and then over here. Okay, and then out of the radius, make a run for it. And by run, I mean move really, really quietly and sneaky. Okay, yes, you stay point. here. I got to go get Latif. Latif, uh, same deal with you, basically. In fact, I think we can just, we can book it. That guy's, an, oh, oh, hurry, 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 move. I thought you were supposed to be faster when you were alone. Okay, these guys are done. I'll just stick on Latif for right now. Uh, ambushes, okay. Ambushes, position the agent, enter turn-based mode. Choose the opening attack carefully. All right, all agents get plus 15% bonus in the first round. Well, I was kind of thinking we'd just sneak up and knock him out like we did the last time. Okay, can you go here and then give me uh, give me Ingrid over here. You're so cool, Ingrid. You and I are going to get along just fine. Okay, so move to this. Okay, going loud. Now in turn-based combat. Okay, so they can take their turn in any order. All right, combat abilities appear in the ability bar. Yep, right down here. I see that. Each ability costs one or more action points to use. And we're doing some very, very familiar turn-based movement here. So we've got a blue move, and then we could do something afterwards, or we could do a dashing move and not do something afterwards. All right. Nobody is reinventing the wheel with that one. So what could you do, Ingrid? What's your deal? Onslaught. Oh, you and I are going to get along fine. Signature ability. Sweeping compound attack. Deals damage. Inflicts knockdown. And all adjacent enemies, too. Okay, and they'll get a debuff. They've been knocked down, they've fallen over, and obviously they're going to have to get up before they can do something. What else have you got? You've got a move, you've got a basic strike, and if we get a crit, you'll be dazed, and an evade. First attack attempt made against this unit automatically misses. Oh, that's handy. So I could put you, I could like park you right next to this guy and put on evade. And then say, nah, you can't hit me next time. And then somebody else could do something. Something along those lines. What do you get to do? Decoy. Latif sets up a 120 hit point decoy in a cloud of smoke. Hang on, hang on, come back. Becomes invisible and moves to a selected location. You got a lot going on, kid. Nearby enemies attack the decoy for two rounds. Oh, I've got a mimic beacon. Straight out of XCOM 2. Fantastic. Or until destroyed. And incoming attacks with that smoke... We'll have less chance to hit and crit, and we'll be invisible. Oh, Latif, I may have grossly underestimated you. Okay. What do I want to do here? We could just shoot him. How how beefy is this guy? Go to uh, go to recon mode here. How beefy is this guy? I don't have like a hit point thing on him per se. Oh, he's got satchel charges though. Ooh. That sounds like a grenade to me. Okay, let's stop messing around here. Let's actually fight something, shall we? So if I did that, I'm not quite, not quite, can't quite do it from there. Just out of range. So can I do it from, I can do it from here. Okay, so I can move to here and then hit you. Gotcha. Should we do the decoy thing? I'm going to just, I'm just going to hit this guy. Yes, I know they're alerted. Things are happening. Boom. Okay, he's knocked down. So he ain't doing anything next round because he's got to get up. Now you're done. Right? You're, you're just done at this point. Um, oh, we've got one AP left. I could move out of the way. Or I could just strike him. I could just hit him. Just hit him in the face. Yeah, just hit him in the face, kid. This is this is I fine. There we go. Oh, nice little we'll cutscene there. I like the that. Episode. And Latif, why don't you just... Just shoot him. I think we're overthinking baby's first battle here. Let's just shoot the guy. Yeah, shoot him, please. Okay, and boom, area clear. Yeah, you're darn right it is. You're darn right it is. Now, this is a stealth game. I'm actually surprised that shooting the gun didn't alert everybody else. Okay, so where, where are we off to? We're still trying to find the package. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Okay, I see you over there. We're still ungrouped, right? Yeah, we're ungrouped. Okay, so Ingrid. No, no, come, come over here, kid. There you go. All right, so let me just kind of... Oh, hang on. Go to recon mode. Then I can pan the map around. You're doing... We got one guy over there. 
One guy over there. That's what I can see anyway. Boy, I'd love to just push you off. I, I regret using up that slam move there. I bet I could have got behind here, hit you, and you would have just gone, yeah, bump, over the side there. I assume you'd be saying that, yay, bump, over the side there. You might even say the over the side there a bit. Okay, let's see what we can make happen here. Oh, I may have, uh, I may have, you know what? Go back up, go back up, go back up. Okay, now go back down. Sorry about that, Ingrid. Um, let's go here. I bet if we're here, we're not going to be in his sight range. I'm more interested in Latif to see if we can get a knockdown, like a takedown on that guy. Now, this guy's little patrol is a teeny tiny bit fussy. I'm not going to lie. But I think if we're right here, yeah, he's not going to see a thing. And then if we hustle, okay, if we, oh, hang on, eavesdropping. Wait a minute. I wanted to do eavesdropping. We're doing cover. Enemies will take advantage of cover. Shield icon. Again, very, very standard stuff here. Half shield, half cover, full shield, full cover. Yeah, no surprises there. I was more interested in eavesdropping. Yeah, let me eavesdrop. Overheard. She's not back yet, is she? Calm down. Boss said she's praying. I heard screaming. No, you didn't. Oh, dear. It's getting a little creepy around here. Ah, ow, 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 I'm going to get spotted. I'm going to get spotted. I'm going to get spotted. I didn't time that very well, but it looks like I will be able to sucker punch the other guy. All right, if I can just get this guy's... Actually, why don't I sucker punch this guy? Doesn't that make more sense? It makes way more sense. All right, you're getting... Yeah, it looks like you're hearing my footsteps, or I'm hearing yours. I'm not 100% on that. What I want to do is get over here. Because you end over here, and if I if I just line this up nicely, you won't see me, but I will see you. And when you stop over there, I'm going to go hit you in the back of the head. Um, you can kind of see me. I'm being very, very quiet, though. Very, very quiet. Yeah, I can totally sucker punch you. Go, go, go. Take him down. Good. Okay, go for contestant number two. Let's just keep this party going. All right, so sneak, 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 hit. Boom. Done. Oh, okay. This is going to get a little fussy here. This, no, no, not there, kid. Right there. This, okay. We got two going that way. In step. They're, they're locked in. Got two over there facing each other. Hit me, hit me with my recon mode again. I like recon mode. Yeah, these guys are facing each other. Those guys are probably going to have to, like, physically assault. These guys might be able to take them down. Boy, I really, I can't stress enough. How much I am deeply regretting accidentally using up Ingrid's little move there. Because that would have been just about perfect right about now. I'm moving Latif up here because we've got some lore, for one thing. Mission success. Lady Nicastro has retrieved the deck. Departure slightly delayed. Waiting for her to finish praying. Okay, that's what those guys were just talking about. Sent a cleanup crew to follow in her wake. Well, that, that guy's just going to be gone then. Okay, like, expect at least three more bodies. Um, not if I can help it. I don't know if I can, but not if I can help it. Or at least if there are dead bodies, it'll be your dead bodies, not mine. Give me Ingrid. And while they're kind of making their circuit here, let's start moving. No, 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 sorry. No, no, no. Ingrid, please. I accidentally clicked on Latif there. All right, move Ingrid up to here because they don't seem to see anything over there and they don't go over here at all. Okay, what... What are my options here? They're going to walk over here. I wonder, could we do a double takedown? And even if we did, that's probably going to alert those guys, right? They're clearly going to see that. Okay, here's my plan. It's a terrible plan, but it's my plan. I'm going to wait for them to pass again. I'm going to try and take down one of them. That'll leave us with three. We've got Latif's mimic beacon decoy turn invisible thing which just sounds ridiculously overpowered if you ask me but i've got it i'm going to use it so they're coming here they're walking by walking by nobody suspects a thing except for that guy uh can't take him down apparently can't take him down no takedown available on that that makes sense i see that i mean there, there's another guy literally standing right next to him i think if we if we fight two, the other two are obviously going to get alerted. Can we sneak by them? Give me hit me up with my recon again. Can we just sneak right by them? Probably not. It looks like maybe the thing might be over here. That looks like a sensible place for it. All agents must survive and take back the stolen package. It doesn't actually say kill everyone. 
or indeed even knock them out or blow them up or anything. So just for having the conversation, if I sneak Latif right over here, maybe the thing, oh, you know what, the thing is probably right there. It's, it's, it's going to be right there. That's it. I bet that's it right there. The package. Okay. Well, this is actually a pretty good spot for Latif anyway. No, no, no. Stay there, kid. No, stay there. I wanted to go over to Ingrid. Amazingly cool Ingrid. Uh, you can go hang out over here. And if we're going to have to get into a fight, this is probably a decent place to do it. Do I... What's my move here? I think we, I think we just go all out on this. I think we just... Let's just start a fight. It's going to be tough to start a fight, too, because we've already used up most of our good abilities. And all I've got left is just hitting people in the face. I mean, Latif's got, got his thing going on here. He's got his decoy. That is a lot of stuff, too. That is laying down a lot of things on the table for us to unpack. I'm going to fire this off, and we're going to put that guy... Right Let's there. Okay. Little, Put your decoy up. You go invisible. Your decoy goes over there. Oh, this is this is a lot of stuff, kid. Okay. Let's... Who's who? Are you the decoy? Or... No, that's that's got to be Latif over there. He's in a cloud of smoke and he's invisible. I thought it was 120 hit points. Let's just, um... Let's just shoot people. We're just going to start shooting people. Okay, shoot <laughs> you in the face. Thank you. Yes, enemies remaining. I'm familiar with that. Yep, you're going to take cover. And then I need you to move, well, anywhere, really. This is... I mean, it's half cover from them, but it's full cover from them. And it's probably about the best spot we've got right now. So you move over there. That's obviously going to end your turn, right? Yep, enemy phase. Uh, they're going to get really shooty. They're going to be all about the shooting. They're like, we've got guns, and somehow you don't. I mean, the kid's got one gun, but that's not a lot of guns when we've got four guns. So the other, the other one's just into punching. Now, admittedly, she punches really, really well. But she's mostly just into punching. Again, are you... Are you the decoy? No, that is, in fact, Latif. So you... Latif. Latif. You have this amazingly overpowered ability. But you put the decoy over here in the smoke. Obviously, um... When I, when I moved him, that was a move, not putting the decoy down. Now, are they actually going to attack the decoy at all? Because I can't see it. I don't know how they can. Okay, uh, let's do one thing at a time here. Can we just can we just smash somebody in the face, please? Uh, we, need to, we need to be doing an excessive amount of smashing. No, not recon mode. The other one where I spin the camera around. So could you move to here? Here? Yeah, put yourself on top of a box, Ingrid. This is wicked smart. And then smash this guy, please. And then you hop over here and you smash him in the face. Okay, he's down. You are completely exposed right now. Completely exposed. Can you smash anybody else? Again, I'm, I'm just confirming you don't have... No. Boy, I, I really wish I'd held on to that onslaught ability. I could put you in parry mode. You could just evade. Not the worst idea. Do that. Ev evade them. So one attack is going to automatically miss. Fair enough. Now Latif, who I've completely bungled. Overwatch. Oh, we have an Overwatch. That's kind of neat. Uh, first thing you should do is get the heck out of the way, kid. So why don't you go over here? That's going to be really good cover against these guys. And then shoot somebody. Shoot anybody. I don't care. Just shoot this guy. You missed on a 90%? Wow, we really are playing XCOM, aren't we? Too close. Okay, there's my evade. So that shot missed. You're going to shoot again. Again, another miss. That wasn't a really good shot. And you are going to... Yeah, there's a hit right there. That's a hit. Okay, um, we can pull this all together. This is all fine. Everything is 100% fine. So how about you hit? start hitting people? Who's not looking tasty right now? You're not. Yeah, 100% to hit you. Bounce over there. Punch him. I didn't quite get him down. I really needed you to quite get him down. But you can try again. No, just numbers. We just want to take down numbers at this point. I still can't quite get it. All right, Latif, uh, this one's on you, Chief. You need to hit this guy. 45%. Uh, he's in cover. I've got a range penalty, probably because I'm using a pistol. How about this guy? Uh, 55. Ugh. I need, I need numbers to go down. We need less people shooting at us. Really need you to make that one, kid. 
I've left your decoy completely invisible. You're, nobody can see your decoy right now. Could you try again, man? Try again, please, with this, and maybe... Ah, oh, oh, come on, kid. Oh, this one's gonna hurt. We're, we're not even getting through the demo, are we? Well, good news, one of them had to take time to reload because they've shot so many bullets at us. They needed time... Oh, this is gonna... Oh, that's that's gotta hurt. That's gotta hurt. Okay. We need this guy to go away. Can you just punch him, please, in his face? Like, where his face lives, with your fist. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, so that's what I'm getting. Killer Instinct, plus one AP. Gotcha. So when you're doing that, you have, a, I, I assume, a chance to get your AP back, or at least get one of them back. And you can keep rolling, Chief. You can just keep rolling. Punch this guy in his punchable face there. Okay, Latif, I kind of need you to pull it all together. I understand... Decisions may have been made concerning your decoy that were perhaps not the most efficient. However, however, I need you to kind of pull this all together. So what I need you to do, why can you not shoot? Oh, you need to reload. Okay, there's an AP right there. Okay, well, reload, obviously. I kind of needed you to move and then do a thing, but you're just going to have to do a thing. 55. Kid, I need you to pull this together, man. Oh, thank you so much. Okay, that leaves one enemy on the map, who was, I believe, at full health, Miss Latif, which is great. Oh, you are so not at full health. Can you even get there? I don't even think you can get there. Why don't you go here? Now, they'll probably move around the corner and shoot you. But in the meantime, I've got Latif. Latif, uh, a 0% chance. A 0% chance. Okay. Um, well, don't do that then. That was very silly. Could you move somewhere better? You could move over here, but that seems like he's got a flanking shot on you very easily. Push over here, but that's a dash. Yeah, I think we're going to unfortunately have to take this turn not attacking. Oh, you've got a plus evade. Good. Good, I need that. You have to take time to reload. Oh, that's the best news I've heard. Okay, if we're very, very, very lucky, we can make this happen. So get in there. Punch you. Okay, get your killer instinct? You didn't, did you? But somehow you still have an AP left. I'm a little fuzzy on that, but then I haven't been reading any of this stuff. All right, punch you, and then Latif. You, you got him 10%? How? Okay, hang on. This is more XCOM than I thought. You're telling me he's in full cover. Really? Okay, all right. I'll, I'll believe you this time. So why don't we put you here... That gets a nice, easy shot on him. You better not be telling me he's in cover, because I ain't hearing that. Okay, that is more like it. Okay, I'll take a 70. The only penalty I've got there is from range. Oh, come on, kid. Really? Now now he's all reloaded, and Ingrid's dead. Well, she's in mortal danger anyway. So I can send Latif over to stabilize Ingrid. Not right now. I'm a little busy, if I'm honest. Okay, Latif... We're, we're going, we're going for it. Just, just get up in his face. This should at least get rid of that A, uh, range penalty. It does. Okay, 100% chance, Latif. Do you think you can put this together? Thank you. Now, can you get over three rounds remaining? No, we're going to work on that. Don't worry, we're, we're going to work on that. Uh, we're going to get over there right now. And, no, don't take things from her. That's very rude. If I go here... Actually, never mind. I can do it right from here. Stabilize. There we go. Go stabilize, Ingrid. You figure out how to get there, man. You figure it out. All right, you're stabilized, but you're dazed. All right, bleeding all over the crime scene. And the thing is indeed exactly where I thought. So I think we can probably get out of turn-based, right? I, th I think we're fine right now. No, no, no. Get out of turn-based. There we go. I think, I think everyone's dead. So take the package. I've got the package. And now escape. Oh dear. Oh dear. Where where are we? Okay, actually that's very easy. It's right there. Okay, Lamplighters League. I'm gonna tell you something right now. I love turn-based tactical stuff. Okay, one of one of my favorite genres of game. Okay, I've been playing XCOM style games since XCOM came out a million years ago. Now here's my problem with this. There's a tendency, a propensity, if you will, for now to start dropping hordes of reinforcements on us that we can't possibly defend from, okay? I'm all set with the reinforcements are coming thing. I don't mind it once in a blue moon, 
adds a little bit of spice to the mission, but not every single mission. Okay, let's just leave without any other things happening. Yeah, Phantom Doctrine, I'm looking in your direction. Fantastic game, ruined by the constant streams of unending infinite reinforcements during every mission. So far, so good here, though. It looks like we can just walk right out, walk right out. Now, I was pretty confident that was going to be the end of the demo, but no, 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 we've got a whole other part here. We've got a rendezvous with the contact, all agents must survive, and it looks like we got more enemies up ahead. So why don't we split this up into two parts, guys? We'll call it a day here on the demo of the Lamplighters League, and we'll pick up some more of this again next time, see where this all finishes out. Do please let me know in the comments what you're thinking of Lamplighters League. And hey, if you're enjoying the video, do please leave a like down below. It does cheer me up. No end when people do that. And if you're new to the channel, maybe just checking it out for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button. See more of this ridiculous nonsense. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours, and we'll see you next time. You know what, kids? I'm the camp counselor who's going to teach you the truth. All right? None of this manby pamby kumbaya nonsense. All right? We are learning the truth here. The truth is death and disappointment and theft. Basically, I did the theft. Everything else is on you. Robot, how do we rescue you? I, I don't, I don't know how to rescue you. I'm also not sure I ever knew you were a woman. So once again, the fish are on fire and uh, you're on fire. Isabella is in fact on fire. The YouTube award ceremony for the best YouTubers of the time. I think this may be a mild exaggeration. I look like I'm paralyzed with fear and or hunger up on stage there.